Amen. Well, praise the Lord, everybody. Praise the Lord. This is me, Apostle Esther, and I pray that you are already having an amazing day. This is the day that the Lord has made. We shall rejoice. <laughs> yes, we shall rejoice and we shall be glad in it. Um, thank you so much for connecting with me on today. We want to look at today, um, St. Luke chapter 18, and I'm going to read um, a couple of passages um, out of the King James translation, just a real quick nugget that I want to drop into your ear gate on today. And the Bible says, St. Luke 18, verse 35, And it came to pass that it, as he was come nigh unto Jericho, a certain blind man set by the wayside begging, verse 36, and hearing the multitude pass by, he asked what it meant. And they told him that Jesus of Nazareth passed by, verse 38. And he cried, saying, Jesus, thy son of David, have mercy on me. Verse 39. And they which went before rebuked him that he should hold his peace. But he cried much the more, thy son of David, have mercy on me. I was sharing this in our live on last night. And as I began to uh, just share the, the word of the Lord and just saw this revelation of how this blind man had something that he needed God to do for him. He couldn't see Jesus, but he heard the crowd. He heard the noise. He heard that Jesus was passing by is what one translation says. And he, the Bible said that he began to cry, Jesus, thy son of David, have mercy on me. And the word of the Lord says the more that he cried out, the more the crowd tried to silence him. And last night as I was teaching this, I just began to see that how we may not be in a, in a physical crowd, but we can be in the crowd of doubt, fear, disbelief, uh, low self-esteem, uh, we weren't good enough in the family. We weren't good enough on the job. We weren't good enough to be in the in crowd. Whatever your crowd is that's trying to silence you, that is telling you to be quiet. The Bible said this blind man, Barnabas, began to beg and cry out the more, Jesus, thy son of David, have mercy on me. He had to go beyond the crowd. He had to go beyond the negative voices. He had to go beyond those people that did not want to see him heal, deliver, or set free. And the Bible said he began to cry the much more, thy son of David, have mercy on me. I want to encourage you on the day. You have to go beyond your crowd, cry beyond your crowd, scream beyond your crowd, holler if you have to beyond your crowd, but begin to get the attention of Jesus so that you can get your victory. You can get your deliverance. You can get your breakthrough. And the Bible says, and Jesus stood and commanded him to be brought to him. Because he cried, cried beyond his pain. And the Bible said, when he saw him come near, he asked him, what would thou that I should do for thee? And he said, Lord, that I may receive my sight. And Jesus said unto him, receive thy sight, thou faith save thee. We have to get to this place where our faith saves us out of our trauma. It saves us out of our pain. It saves us out of whatever our distress is. And I began to say in the class on last night that this man's disability became his ability to see Jesus. It, it caused him to be made whole in every area of his life. Jesus said, your faith is that saving faith. That faith is the faith that calls me uh, to, the, to get my attention and calls me to heal you and to make you whole. And the Bible said immediately he received his sight and he began to follow Jesus. Whatever your disability is on today, allow it to become your ability to follow Jesus and to be made whole. I'm Apostle Esther. I want you to have a super amazing day. Know that Apostle Chris and I love you with the love of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Remember that on today. Whatever your disability is, it is your ability. It is the ability of Jesus Christ to save you and to make you whole. And now you can follow Jesus. God bless you. Thank you for joining me.